you. Hey, congrats on the win. How valuable was the, um, the three points tonight? Uh, very important for us. You might be on mute, actually. Oh, one sec. Can you hear me now? Yep, can now. Okay, sorry. Uh, for us, very, uh, very valuable three points tonight uh, against a, a very good opposition. Uh, that's four games now. You know, we, well, three we won and one we've drawn. So, very important for us at this back end of the season to pick up these points. Do you think it's the biggest win of the season? Yeah, for us, it's, uh, you know, uh, losing this game would have, uh, you know, put a very a big dent into our season. But, you know, for us, like I said, very valuable three points against a, a very good opposition. And, um, you know, Tom Ahmed, Jimaki signing at the start of the season, I guess he showed why he's on the big bucks by stepping up to, you know, score the late penalty. Yeah, look, uh, I thought it was a penalty anyway. I think Josh is head of the ball and the goal goalkeeper's gone through the back of him uh, and he's uh, stepped up and, and been very uh, composed and put that in the back of the net to, to win, us the, win us the game. So, you know, I was uh, very pleased with Tomo. He's, he's been out for a while, but he's, he's got through the game as well. So hopefully he can uh, build on that as well. And how proud, proud are you of Ben Wayne? Um, we kind of talk about him every media session we have with you at the moment, but that's because of the amount of goals he's been scoring um, four and four games now. It's um, getting a bit ridiculous, really. Uh, look, that, that, that's that's why he's up there, and uh, that's what his what his job is to to score goals. So, for us, it's very pleasing for for Wayno. You know, it's not just the goals that he scores; it's the, the work that he does off the ball for the team, and the, when we're pressing and, and covering spaces and, and holding up the ball. And you know, I think he's he's growing in stature, like I said earlier in the week. Yeah, you often talk about confidence. How much does it, that give a player when he's got four goals in, in four games? Yeah, a lot of confidence, you know, that's that's what they uh, they feed off, you know, strikers feed off scoring goals, and, you know, I'm, I just hope he continues down that path. Cool, that's everything for me, thanks. Thank you. Um, Uffy, I guess you haven't necessarily had your rub in the green in terms of late decisions and stuff like that throughout the season. You must be relieved to, I guess, I mean, it was a penalty, but you must be relieved to sort of fall in your way this time. Yeah, look, I think we, you know... When it was 1-1, we were still chasing the game because we needed the three points to, to stay in contact with the guys, uh, on the teams on top of us. So, you know, uh, when you put the ball in the box and, and, you know, things can happen and that's why it's very important to, to continue. And I think the boys showed, you know, uh, a lot of character this evening to, to end up getting those three points. I think that's three wins from your last four it's the right time in the season to be sort of getting that kind of form, isn't it? Yeah, very important. You know, we're at the back end of the season where you want to find some form and you want to win some games, and, and we need to win games anyway to, to get ourselves uh, where we want to get to. And just a word on Ollie Sale. I mean, he's, he's been a bit of a revelation really coming in um, for you as a starting goalkeeper, and, and he just keeps playing really, really well. Yeah, look, they had some really good opportunities. Ollie made some uh, very good saves again to, uh, tonight. Uh, look, it's one of those positions for goalkeepers. They, they, I think they become uh, better at what they do the more games they get with the more bodies they have around them. So, you know, Ollie's been great since he stepped in. Thanks, Ophie. Thank you. Pass, man. Yeah, Ophie, it was a great game to watch. And I think um, you played a big part in, in the tactics that you used to actually win it because in the first half, Pretty cautious. You kept that late quiet. But in the second half, it looked like you took a one day out of the equation in the way you played, and you got you got through them that way. Is that what what you worked on? Yeah. Look, we we play a certain brand of football, Val. As you know, it's quite exciting to the to the. Uh to the neutral out there and and for us we we defend a certain way where we try to even though we don't have the ball we try to dictate what the opponent does with the ball and put them into areas and and let certain players have the ball that can't hurt us and I think we did that quite well in the first half uh, second half obviously conceding quite early in the second half meant that we had to go and open up a little bit more which which created a lot of opportunities for them as well in transition but uh, for us we like we said we play a certain brand we try to get our creative players on the ball with uh, with our nines making forward runs and our fullbacks overlapping as well so you know that's the, that's the way we've been playing all season so you know we obviously we te tweak a few things according to the opposition that we play do you have a feeling because via the way he sets up his team it, uh, probably a point would have been great for Adelaide without a doubt because of where they sit but they always play this high-risk game. Did you sort of feel that they're always going to try to win the game when perhaps a point would have been better for them? 
Yeah, look, I don't know what, uh, what Carl's uh, thought process before the game, but you know, they, they try to play some attacking football and they try to uh, you know, go out there and win games. And you know, for us, the things that we saw where they do actually play a high line with no pressure on the ball, and that's how we you know, got through on the first goal. So you know, we obviously analyse the opposition and, and see their vulnerabilities and try to exploit, exploit them. So look, I don't know what Carl's game plan was, but uh, look, like I said, I think he wants to play an att attacking uh, a fluid game as well. And you played it in like 13 days or 12 days from now again, which is going to be interesting. Is that a good thing for you that you can meet them again? And, and obviously the, the, the pressure's now on Adelaide because you've taken the full points this time. Yeah, look, we've got a game uh, before that that we need to focus on. Uh, you know, it's, the draw has ended up the way it's ended up because the, the world we live in at the moment, uh, we can't do anything about that. But, yeah, we'll focus on our, our game against Brisbane first and then, uh, you know, for us to, to get through that and get three points and then we'll, we'll work on what we need to do against Adelaide again. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Ophi, um, congratulations. Thank um, you. I also reckon in commentary that Joshy was meant to be coming on for Tom at first but then it ended up being for Ben. Was that the case? Yeah, it was uh, initially we were going to take uh, Tom off, but uh, he got his second win, so we kept him on the park, and, and I'm glad we did. Was that something you saw? You sort of saw him doing better than struggling a bit, or was it something he said to you? Or? No, it's also, uh, you know, he hasn't played a lot of games in the last couple of weeks, so we just wanted to be mindful of that. But uh, for us, it's, it's, it's not just what we do with the ball, it's also our nines play a massive role in our, in our defence setup. So, you know, once, once we can't weren't able to, I felt at times we weren't getting pre enough pressure on the ball, so we needed some legs. That's why we were thinking at that time to bring Tom on for Joshy. I'm oh, sorry, Tom off for Joshy. Out. Sorry, the other way around. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, it worked out because Tom ended up being there to hit the winning, winning penalty, so yeah, look, I still pretty, yeah, pretty yeah, look, good about that. If, yeah, look, at the end of the day, if Tom was on the park, uh, I'm sure Uli would have stepped up and taken it. Um, just on your first goal, Ben's goal, um, long VAR check on that one. Um, and they gave it as a goal in the end. But do you think they possibly shied away from making the difficult decision to, you know, call it offside, but also give a red card? Uh, look, once, once the advantage is, is played, I don't think there's, uh, you don't go back to for a red card call anyway. So, look, the, the thing is, for, for me with VAR, it shouldn't take that long. It's, it's either offside or it's not offside at the end of the day. It's a clear and cut decision. You know, the lines have been drawn there. They, they see it. It's either offside or it's not offside. And just on VAR, there was also a suggestion that the box on the sideline had been covered up to stop you from taking a look at it as coach. Um, that, is that, that something you've been talked to about? That's, not, that, that's been covered up uh, most of the season. It's unfortunate the way it's unfortunate the way the dugouts are set up and everything's so close. Um, and just on your team selection, I'm Stephen Taylor. Um, was that just a case of? You know, he had to play those first two games, so you wanted to manage him tonight? Yeah, look, uh, Tails, obviously, the week leading into this, uh, trained with the group the week before, his, his load was very low, and for us to play him the third game in a row, you know, we, we, we would put him at, uh, at risk. And you finished tonight, just to finish off, you know, sitting in sixth on the ladder. Obviously, a couple of those teams behind you have games in hand. You know, one of them you're playing next week. But what is it going to mean psychologically for this team to see, you know, that number six beside Wellington Phoenix. Yeah, look, the boys have, have worked hard and, and, you know, we spoke about it uh, before the game uh, this evening. We said, you know, whatever's happened in the past has happened. All we need to do is really focus on uh, today's game and take it game by game. And it's nice to be uh, sitting in the six at this present time, but we want to be sitting in the six uh, by around 26. And your gut feeling, um, you know, was this going to be your last game in Wollongong or did you, does your gut tell you going to end up being back here? I've got a feeling that we might, we might have one more game in Wollongong. Uh, fair enough. Thank you. Thank you.